Good morning. And the time is 7.40, 20 minutes to 8. So I'm very early. I put my, my watch at 7 because I'm going to the St. Marcus place and at the Taj Palace. This is this going to be a very, very big line. They opened the palace at 8.30, so hopefully not so many people are going to be there and I'll be a little bit ahead of time. Delicious. But this is actually so nice that I can be in Venice very early without all the people. People are running. There's already a lot of people, probably a lot of people going to work. This is Vene 23, 9328, and I'm going on number two. And there's a lot of people coming in. Everybody's going out. So, there were only boats in the opposite direction, so I think I'm gonna walk there instead. But this is, if it helps, and if it's uh, the right way, Per San Marco, then you can actually walk there, and it won't be that long. Imagine in a few hours it will be packed, pa -pa 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 packed. But now it's easy. Klockan är lite för tidigt och nu är det åtta en gång. Jag är på St. Marcosplatsen och Dodge Palace. Jag ska in, de öppnar snart. It looks like it is, the entrance is here. So I hope ticket on my phone will work what I bought yesterday. And now there is a queue, but it's only 10 minutes until uh, we can start boarding. This is the way all the important people came to the Dodge Palace. This is the grand staircase. We cannot walk up because we're not important. And titta, there are knappt folk here. Dodge Palace. I read something about that if you think that somebody's done something really bad, you can put it in a note and put it in this mouth. And then it comes to the people who can do something about it. But they usually didn't. After just very good investigation and stuff, then, then they did it. There you go. The important people, then they come here. 
ceiling. It's in the ceiling. It's very carved. It's called the Golden Staircase. It's marmor and uh, gold, of course. And this is the Grand Staircase. It's probably better from here. Oh, a little bit. So when you go home, you get a little treat. Yeah, here you clearly see see it all. Amazing. Yeah, to there, over there. That's kind of impressive. Yeah. We're going to the Bridge of Silence, but where the heck is it? Theory, the Bridge of Sighs. So this is the way the prisoners got to, they were supposed to interrogate and that's why they built the bridge because people didn't want to hear them sighing and their anguish. Am I walking the bridge now? This is a bathtub. Yes. Don't know. I'm sort of lost in the dungeons. This is where I came from, but I don't know how to get out. Okay, I'll follow this science and go back. Go back down. Uh -oh. and there's no way out here. Oh, 
Oh, I heard voices. I came through here, yeah? Uh, oh yeah, and then I came here. This is the bathtub. Okay, so now I'm actually going back, back, back. And this is also saying prison, but it, I am in the prison cells. Oh, God damn it! Will I get out? So, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the thing that I came into. But mm -hmm. and this is probably where they could go outside for a little while. Somewhere down in the prison cells, actually Casanova was, was imprisoned at one point and he managed to escape from a hole in the ceiling. And you can go on a, like a secret tour uh, and then they reveal where he sat. But I'm not on the secret tour, I'm on the very visible tour. But still, kind of pretty cool. cool. Okay, Mosquito. Now we have the point of size again. Oh, is it two, two way? Or did we? Oh no, no. We, okay, so it's two ways on the. Oh, it's so big. So this is also the. We could go uh, two ways. I wonder if this is the old stairway to the bridge of size. Because here you have some stairs up to that part. I don't know. We have to think. Here you have all the prisons on the other side. No escape. So I'm leaving the Dodge Palace. Thank you. But it's 12 o'clock now, so I've been here for three and a half hours. And uh, I'm coming out at the Marcus place. And it's a little bit more people here now than it was three and a half hours ago. And this is actually the line to the St. Marcus Church. I wonder if I should be the same tomorrow that go up very early and then go ahead and skip to this line. I got myself my apple. So I'm quite all right. You're not supposed to eat here at St. Marcus Place. Well, you can eat, but uh, the prices are hilarious, I've told, I've been told. It isn't that long of a queue. So it strikes 12, yeah. So nothing more, nothing more than that. Where's the show? Where's the... There's the apes, where there's the elephants. Maybe I missed the show. Maybe they did something up there and I didn't look. Maybe they put on a show for nothing. Sorry, guys. I forgot to say, one of these seagulls came down and tried to take my sandwich. It actually came down and grabbed it. In when I was holding it in my hand, he didn't get it because I did. I get a scratch or something? No, I didn't. I, I could feel his wings in my face, and he tried to grab my sandwich. You bastard seagull! It looks very, very, very nice, uh, but I don't want to pay 7.50 for. Uh, a cup of coffee. Uh... I'm sort of getting myself lost in the alleys of Venice. That is one thing you should do. Just walk around and don't bother <laughs> where you end up. Uh, hopefully you'll end up and you get to the very, very nicest places. That looks like an oven, but I don't think it is. This is a shitty alley, but 
look here. Now we come to this place here. With a little well. A lot of nice. Or maybe I know where this is. Even. No. Did I actually leave the St. Marcus place behind me? I didn't go into the church because that's sort of a 45 hours, no, 45 minutes waiting time to get into the church. But maybe that's just the way I should go back. Maybe I should go inside because that's the things you do. It's way too much of a close up, Mr. Vanell. Hmm. I've decided to go with my first class eyewitness uh, tour guide. And you can actually go on your own little tour here they have, have recommended. So I'm doing that. And walking right now along Fritzeria. In the 1500s, it was where people went to buy arrows. Frecke. And that is, is just exotic clothes. Oh no, I think I'm wrong. I think I went... This is the St. Marcus place again. All places lead to St. Marcus. Manin, and who the heck is this camping? It's Manin, you think? Well, here he is, standing erect here in the middle of the square. And he's looking at his house, and that probably is, I don't know, that one? Or that one? Oh, no, maybe this one. Questa casa abitava Daniel Manin. This house, Daniel. Manin lived in. Cuando es patria, I can't read it. It's too bright. Okay, so I'm looking for this staircase. And it's supposed to be very close by. I think it's going into that alley over there. And then it's uh, somewhere in this house. I've been sitting here for a while actually because I have a headache. And I think it's because of my rack, rack sack and stuff. Now I've done a lot of drinking, uh, but I think it's because the rack sack is <sighs> heavy on the shoulders. So I've been massaging myself for a little while here at Erovikio, this bridge. But now on to Palazzo Contarini. Del Bovolio. Del Bovolo. It even has a little sign there. What's the. That's no picnic. Well, it is a picnic, then. Uh, there's no. Uh, what's the challenge in that? Oh, I'm a little soggy in my head. This looks like the working area, but it's very, very nice. Okay, so in here is supposed to be the grand staircase. century and I think the, the name of it means snail and that's because of this uh, stairway looks like a snail not sure why they have this color here but entrance no, I go all the way up first oh yeah you look see the color
Pedro Feniz. I should go and see Aida here as well. God is so big and open, I don't know where to go now. <laughs> oh, totally lost. So many places to go. So this uh, square, Campus Santo Stefano, is one of the biggest squares. Squares? Squares. In uh, Venice. And they've actually had bullfights here up until 1802. But they stopped after that because the auditorium fell down and killed a few people. So after that, when there were some people killed, not bulls, then they stopped doing this. I think that this over here is like a music conservatorium and you can hear people practice here every day, all year long. Notte giorno di torno girano, then the belle torrando a riposo. There's so many bridges and so many beautiful views that it's sort of take it out from each other in a way. Okay, so I was at St. Angelo's Square before. This is where they play music and, and rehearse. They are not lazy. They play like I one has played before. It's beautiful. This feels like it's Hogwarts or something. I don't know. The windows are also very, very nice. And I have this one here. The floor is very, very uneven. And uh, I go upstairs and see what it has to offer. I don't know if I can go here, but... but it's an uh, ambulance, I think. I actually got a happy moment again when I came to this bridge and saw the Grand Canal and all the boats. It all became Venice to me. I don't know what it is uh, that triggered me because I've been walking around the small narrow streets and seeing the canals, but it's sort of like, you know, Amsterdam and could have been somewhere else, but maybe because this is so much more different. This is really a big canal and the houses are playing with no streets on the side so that's what makes it different I think. They are so good in navigate while he bumped into it. Uh, I didn't see this one actually. It's both one and two. So I can actually take both of them back home, so I can go a little bit on the Grand Canal. 
let's see here one go to no this is not the right way let it go on the back other side wow see that cruise ship <laughs> god damn it <laughs> there was a long long corridor it all all led out to is sort of like Fabretta or what is it is uh, and uh, it's just this but this is number one and I can take number one there's a few more st stops on the way but I will get to the Alto We'll see if I get on this one. It looks like a very lot of people. So, what has happened? Well, I got off at Rialto and I bought myself the ticket for the airport. I was planning on going to Coop, the, the supermarket, but I found one here instead. And I bought some salad and a panini, so I'm not gonna go eat something outside tonight. The only thing I have to worry about just now is to go home and plan for tomorrow. What the hell am I gonna do tomorrow? We'll see. Oh,